Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can probably already tell by the title, I'm going to be eating everything that my 6 foot 5 boyfriend eats in a day. So bearing in mind I'm only 5 foot 2, this could potentially be a quite interesting task. I don't know if I'm going to be able to like do this, but I think I'll be fine. We do tend to eat in around the same amount. We're going to see what that entails today. I'm gonna be attempting to eat everything that he eats in a day. So first up, I've already like faced my first hurdle of the day. So I would be a morning eater. Like I would get up and have my breakfast near enough straight away as soon as I get up and then I'm ready to go for the day. Whereas Adam would kind of take it slow and then he could go until lunch without having anything to eat. So I've kind of struggled this morning, um, but he has agreed that he will have breakfast because he knows I will pass out if I didn't have breakfast. So I was like, what would you normally have for breakfast if you were having breakfast? So he says he would have three, he would have scrambled eggs on toast and that would be three eggs and two pieces of toast. So that's what I'm gonna have for my breakfast. It is a bit later for me because I just waited until he got up. So it's currently 10 to 11 and I've been up from half eight. So I am already feeling a bit like faint and hungry. So I need to go to the shop and get some eggs and then I'll make my breakfast, which I am so ready for. Um, To be honest, if I was having scrambled eggs on toast, I would probably have three eggs and two pieces of toast too, so this is pretty standard kind of breakfast thing for me. So this should be easy. And we'll start off on the day. You don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that. Staying up on night. Okay, so here we have my breakfast. That is three eggs, two pieces of toast, and some butter. And then I'm gonna put brown sauce on mine. Adam says he doesn't put sauce on his eggs, but personally, I think you need some kind of sauce on scrambled eggs, whether that be, why is my voice going so weird? Whether that be red sauce, sriracha, any kind of hot sauce, or brown sauce. My personal favorite would probably be brown sauce. So that's what I'm having. And yeah, I'm very excited to eat this. I'm flipping starving. And half the reason I wanted to film this video is basically because like, I think there's this whole idea that women shouldn't be able to eat as much as men or like depending on your height, you shouldn't be able to eat as much. Like if you're smaller, you shouldn't be able to eat as much. But like everybody has a different appetite. Like you could be my height and have as big an, or a bigger appetite than someone Adam's height just because you have a quicker metabolism or like you're more active or whatever. Like. There's so many factors that come into how much you're able to eat, how much you need to eat, how much your body needs to, how much energy your body needs to like survive. So yeah, this is a big part of the reason why I want to do this video because I know for a long time I felt like I shouldn't be eating as much as Adam ate. Like sometimes like we would get a pizza and we'd both finish the whole thing and he'd be like, I'm really full. And then sometimes I'd be like, oh, I'm still hungry. Um, or like I would eat whatever and yeah, like it just depends on the day. Like you might have a more hungry day than another day. And I think I for a long time kind of felt guilty because I felt like I could eat more than Adam sometimes. Like not all the time. Sometimes he was able to eat more than me. But yeah, like that played on my mind. I was like, I shouldn't be able to eat that much. So I'm sure I'm not the only one who's felt like that. And I've heard other people talk about it too. So I thought I would do this video to show you that if you've got a big appetite, if you can eat as much as someone way taller than you, if you can eat, if you're a girl and you can eat as much as a boy, that's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna eat my breakfast before I completely pass out of starvation. And I'll chat to you guys when I'm eating again. <laughs> Smiling while you're cursing, I admit it's working. So Adam's just arrived. And he has just informed me that before he left his house, he had some grapes. But we currently do not have grapes in my house. So I'm just gonna take that as fruit, which I'm kind of glad about because I've been craving fruit all morning. Like usually if I would have something like eggs, like if I had something savory for lunch, like say it was eggs or like a sandwich or something, I would always have fruit afterwards. Mm -hmm. So I've been really craving some fruit because it's like, I think it's the hydration of the fruit. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you're having some fruit juice. So, what we have is pears. So I think I'm gonna go have a pear. That's acceptable. Yeah. Acceptable. How is your hunger levels? How's your hunger levels? All right. 
I got it. Are you hungry? No, I'm not too hungry. Do you want anything? No, I'm not. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go get a pair. And I'll be back. A pair of what? In a second. Okay, so here I have my pear. And pears, to be honest, are probably my favourite fruit. What's your favourite fruit? Um. You like oranges, don't you? I like oranges, I like strawberries, I like raspberries. I don't really like berries that much. Like, they no. have to be. I do no. like them, but berries. I think berries are one thing where it's really easy to get bad berries, yeah, especially like here. Berries in a smoothie bowl are great. Frozen berries. I like blueberries, but mm. I'm really fussy when it comes to strawberries and stuff. No, I really like pears, but I can only eat them if I cut them up. Why are you taking my pear? Oh, sorry, buddy. No. Why? No. <laughs> I've been waiting for that all morning. <laughs> don't eat my pear. I'm not eating all my don't eat my pear. I don't know what you're talking about. Can I have my pear back, please? No. <laughs> Thank you for my pear. But yeah, as I was saying, I can only eat pears if I like cut them off. Do you know could you just take a bite out of this? Like could would yeah. you Yes. Well no, I can't do that. Because I can do it with apples, but I don't really enjoy it. I prefer chopping up apples, but I couldn't just bite into a pear. And I only like conference pears too. Yeah, pear. Why do you want a pear so bad? I just want to eat a pear. Fine, I'll give you a wee bit. Okay. Okay. There. <laughs> what is wrong with you? No. Right. Well, we'll catch up with you at like lunch or something. We're gonna have lunch today. Have to wait and see. Okay, so it is about half past three now, and I don't think we're gonna have any lunch because, as I said, we had, well, I had my eggs at about 11 or so, I think it was. What time do you have yours? Yours is later. Half 12. 12? It would have been around lunchtime anyway, so. I think we're just going to get a bit of an afternoon snack Schnick. and we've come to Lidl because they have a pretty it's impressive cheap. yeah it's cheap and they have a pretty impressive snack array snack array? that sounds like one word snack array crackery snack array um, so we're going to go in and Adam's going to choose what we're getting I know what I would opt for but I'm not going to say I might have to shield Adam's going to choose the snack that we get for the afternoon why is your hunger? Uh, it is nice. And peckish. It isn't like, yeah, not hungry, just peckish. Snacky. Yeah. Like a good English I don't eat crap. Fair. But I don't want to eat crap. See, you would do that a lot more than me. I wouldn't really eat that much, like, junk food. Because I just don't crave it. Like, it's not like I don't. Like, I'll have uh, an ice cream or anything like that if I want it, but I wouldn't really, like, crave, like, loads of sweetie foods on my own. Although, like, I do that as more of like a social thing. It's really weird. Anyway, whereas you would be a very like snacky person. Like you, you crave like wee snacks. You have a good. Whereas I would rather have meals and like not really any snacks. Well, I would have like a cereal bar for a snack. Like that's the sort of thing I'd crave for a snack. But anyway, today is Autumn's day of eating. Every day is my day. <laughs> well, yes, that's true. But today I have to, I have to copy you. Are you all right there? No, I'm tired. I'll go back to bed. Okay. Um. Maybe you need a wee afternoon pick me up then. Don't right. Let's go, go into. <laughs> let's go into Lidl. So we have come to the chocolatey sweetie aisle. <laughs> Where are you headed? We've picked up some cocoa, cocoa creams. These are pretty good. Um. So I'm not going to say no to that. We've now made it to the crisps. Apparently we're picking up snacks for later as well. So picked up some paprika baked snacks. Baked, not fried. They're pretty good too. We had them hiking and they're great. Oh, so we're back in the car and we have quite the snack haul right here. So I'm going to show you everything we picked up. We have some cocoa creams. Oh, great. Is that what they're called? Yeah. They're really, really good. Then Adam's got his lemonade and i've got my diet coke um we're not doing the same drinks no because that just would not go well no like i would not enjoy, like i could take a sip of that but like no um then snack front we have these 
peanut butter dark chocolate nut bars. These are mine for like an, a later date, so they're not for today. And then I wanted to try these uh, multivitamins. Apparently, they're meant to give you loads of energy if you take one like before you go to bed at night and then you wake up in the morning feeling energized, so I'm all about that. And then we picked up a couple of these. No, thank you. No, thank you. We picked up a couple of these. These way to go bars. I assume these aren't for today either, but they're actually the nicest chocolate ever. This one, if you're a salted caramel fan, you will absolutely adore. They're like fair trade and they're kind of like, you know, Tony's Colony chocolate. They're the same idea as that. Um, but they're a little bit cheaper. Um, these are from Lidl. And then we have some Ferrero Rocher. And this, because it was a pollen and it's like a healthy chocolate bar or like a no added sugar chocolate bar or whatever. And then finally, some paprika crisps. So, Personally, I would have went into Lidl and headed beeline for the bakery. We walked in and Adam just strolls right past the bakery. I was like, excuse me. I was really craving a chocolate cookie. So we're going for a Ferrero Rocher, are we? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm up for that. This is my mid-afternoon chocolate slum. Like I would need, this is the point of the afternoon when I need something chocolatey. Yeah, Mmm. I haven't had Ferrero Rocher in ages. Another have either, so underrated. They're Could so good. My car, Did you not see the, like, the Lidl ones? I really want to do a video, like, trying Lidl versions of food. Because you know the way Lidl's really mm. funny for, like, fake versions of branded food? I'd love to do, like, a Lidl versus the real and, I've like, the fake Oreos, they're very good. Taste testing. Pain in Lidl. So here we go with Ferrero Rocher number two. Mm -hmm. You know it's an Nutella inside of Ferrero Rocher? Mm-hmm. Keep cold and dry. We're going in for another snack here. I'm really intrigued. I'm kind of nervous. Well, Sometimes things that are like that are really not nice. Like fitness versions of like... But to be fair, usually fitness versions of like nice food is really dear. That was only a pound. <laughs> like that's cheaper than a lid for. I would mm, it looks really cheap, doesn't it? It looks like real cheap chocolate. What's the verdict? You need to let it melt to get proper flavour. It doesn't really taste like much. It has a weird flavour. Yeah. It just tastes like crap chocolate, doesn't it? Like, I don't love it. I wouldn't choose it again. I'd much rather have a bar of I pay that extra for a bar of lint. <laughs> Excessive consumption may have a laxative effect. That's no. what sweeteners do. Like, see, every time, see if you see sugar free chocolate Anything. sweet. Like, even chewing gum. It'll all say that because sweeteners. What you want to do? Make you. Is go. One thing I've come to realize in recent years, I think, is a healthy diet is more focused on what you can add into your diet than what you can take out of it. Just well, I suppose the next time we'll probably eat is dinner. Would that be the next time you would eat? Huh? Is the next thing you would eat dinner? Uh, uh, You're pretty unpredictable. Like you don't really, like you just kind of eat. Like I'm not really like that. Like I, like I would be a lot more planned out with when I eat. Like I would have like my breakfast and then I would have like one snack time after that if I wanted a snack. Do you know what's sick In the time that he was reversed in there, for the five minutes that he took to get reversed in there because there was two cars parked there, they have since left. Okay, um, so I would have my breakfast and then I would maybe have a snack between breakfast and lunch if I wanted one, if I was hungry and then I would have my lunch and All then I, I would maybe either... have a snack between lunch and dinner if I wanted one and then I, I would have not. my dinner and then I would Maybe have a chocolatey thing in the evening, like a wee hot chocolate or something. Whereas you just kind of like. If I walk past belly, someone that's eating. Want. If I walk past someone that's eating, if I hear someone eating, if I get bored. You would very much mindless eat, like you, like. Whereas I would not remember what I'd eaten in a day, or like I would remember everything I'd eaten in a day. Like I think you would very easily not remember everything, because you just kind of like don't even think about it. Do you know what I mean now? It depends on what I've done today. If I've been busy or I've been out a lot that day. Like I don't really mind forcing stuff in the mix at least I've been doing stuff. But you don't really think about eating as much as I would. 
Do you know what I mean? Not as much, but if I'm sitting about doing nothing all day, I Like, will. you would just walk to the cupboard and lift something out without even thinking about it? No, I'd think about it. Because <laughs> I'd be like, what do I want to eat? I'm hungry here. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Okay, so it's a little while later on now, and we are about to head and get dinner, so it is pizza tonight. So basically, we've pretty much got the same pizza, except you have pepperoni and salami on yours and I don't like pepperoni and salami so there was literally no point in me ordering something, you don't like. something I don't like because it would just be a waste of money so we've got basically the same pizza except I don't have pepperoni and salami on mine um oh yeah and I have sweet corn and Adam doesn't have sweet corn um but our pizzas are the same size and then we are sharing a Wedges. Wedges. So, yeah, I'm pretty much eating what Adam is eating for dinner. Yeah. And we're really hungry because the pizza place is so busy. Yeah. yeah. Really busy. So we ordered it an hour ago, and then it probably took us about half an hour to get through on the food. So it's been a while. But we're gonna go get pizza now. And I was saying earlier on, like, I don't think we have massively different sized appetites. Like, so just a lot of like you, he would probably, yeah, eat a lot more junk food than I would. Dose. Whereas... Should have got a more rich one, I believe. Oh, you silly poo. Do you want to get them? Can't go on now, like, Fair. I'm just really disappointed in myself as a person. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the only thing is, you, yeah, you would probably eat a lot more junk food than I would, and... You would eat a lot more in the evening, whereas I would eat a lot more throughout the day. But yeah, like, I think a lot of the time there's like this whole idea that girls shouldn't eat as much as their boyfriends. Correct. Yeah, like, have you ever been, like, why, why do you eat too much? No, like, there's times you avoid it, but you know, there's times I, I'm just, like, whatever you call Yeah, them. it just, like, so, like, I, I think, yeah, some days you're just going to be hungry, hungrier than other days. Like, you could have a day when, you just aren't that hungry at all. Yeah. But then the next day, you could be really hungry. Like, just because there's like, people say there's like a certain amount of calories or whatever you need to eat in a day. Like, it, it, that's just not how it works. That's not how your body works. Well, um, I thought about all day and at the amount of calories it says I'm supposed to eat. Yeah. I'm not gonna pardon them all by sitting around doing nothing. Well you might. Like Yeah, I might. But someone like, you like it just depends on me? your metabolism. Like somebody you probably could eat that much in a day and you'd be fine. Yeah, but like you may be more active on your feet all day. And someone's yeah. like, oh you can't eat that because you're this height and this gender and yeah. this whatever. But then also like you could be not active at all and it's just the way your body metabolizes food that you need a lot more food than like yeah. other people who are the same height as you and maybe even more active. Like, they're like a static sort of rule for like a height and weight and all that yeah. just doesn't work. It's all, totally it's all just each person is different. Yeah. What are you It also depends on what your, like it, your calorie intake's one thing, but it's what you're getting your calories through. Like if you're sitting eating chocolate all day, there's gonna be sugar on the end of that, which like, the thing is as well, though, like, like you're not gonna feel good. Like that is, you're, if yeah. you're sitting eating chocolate all day, it would be the same if you, if you're eating, sitting eating chocolate all day or if you're sitting eating broccoli all day, if you're just eating one thing, that's not gonna be good for you because you're not getting all the nutrients you need from either of those foods. Whenever you cook some broccoli, it smells awful. I'll say that. <laughs> but like, I sort of think you just need as many different things in your diet, like a, a wide, range of different foods because that way you're getting loads of different nutrients that are going to fuel your body in different ways. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I do. That's nice. So here we have our pizzas. As you can see, pretty much the same except Adam has pepperoni and salami which I don't like. But we have chicken, beef, meatballs, uh, sweet corn, mushroom. Adam doesn't have sweet corn. And then we share wedges. So I think we'll probably both finish these. Well, I'm supposed to eat the same amount as you anyway, so however much you eat, that's how much I have to eat too. 
but we normally both finish them anyway. I'm halfway through, but it's getting to the time when I'm having to loosen my zip. But yes, halfway there. Oh, halfway there. Alright, ball, Jimmy. Ha ha ha. We finished our pizzas. Success. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten my crusts. Oh well. I ate my crusts. Adam doesn't need his crusts. Just got my seat stool. Um, but yes, I am extremely. <coughs> I am extremely full right now, how are you? No, I'm alright. We'll see. Adam did purchase evening snacks. So we will see what happens with that. But for now, food is not on my mind. Okay, so here's the story in Balamori, right? It's dessert time. And in my house, there's no ice cream for Adam. But realistically, if you had the choice right now, would you have ice cream? Yeah. So, unfortunately, we just don't have any ice cream that you would like right now. Because... You finished them yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, instead, Adam's going to have some Ferreros. But I personally would rather have ice cream. And I'm eating what you would normally eat in a day anyway. Which would probably be ice cream. If I would eat these on the ice cream. That's really true. So, I just threw my hand sanitizer in bed. Yeah. And I'm having some Haagen-Dazs Praline and Cream. This is the best Haagen-Dazs if anyone's tried it. It is so good. I'll Look, do you want to try a bit? You'd probably like the bit that isn't actually like a nut in it. What do you think? It's nice, isn't it? You would like it with when it's not got nuts in it. Because it's basically just caramel. Yeah, the nuts don't really bother me. Do they not? No, it's frozen. You oh, like the nuts? Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, frozen nuts are dead on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Adam is a nut hater. Not a fan. But you can't eat all my ice cream. <laughs> Looks like I do have ice cream that I must only have a half each then. No, I'll just take a little bit. Soft nut. Where's my ice cream? My ice cream. So what would you rate it out of 10? Would you choose it from the shop? Yeah, it's not bad. It's my favourite one. The nuts are actually quite nice when they're frozen. Because it's the consistency of nuts I don't like. But I don't see any difference. They just disintegrate. Or but else. so they do that, maybe you just like that kind of a nut. <laughs> <laughs> just allergy in the face. I feel like this is going to go right up my wall. Oh my god, why am I back on it? That is me eating everything my six foot five boyfriend eats in a day. I hope you guys, I know it wasn't really exact, but we did our best. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Carry it up. If you did, make sure to head up and give the video a thumbs up. I'm not eating what she eats in a day. No, you wouldn't like what I eat in a day. I'd rather starve. Would first. you like avocados? I would rather. What else do I eat that you don't like? In my hands. Sometimes. Like regularly? Beans. Baked beans. I don't like baked beans. Disgusting. What else do I eat that you don't like? I eat most things to be honest. Like there isn't much that I don't like. Mm, I don't like a lot of things. People included. <laughs> right well. On I'm that note. Right. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That's really nice. Because I'm really warm. And subscribe because I upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And I nearly said Tuesday and got all confused. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy my ice cream. Sorry, I'm going to enjoy your ice cream. <laughs>
Thank you.